Okay guys, I couldn't stitch this video, but I did take a picture of it. Khadijah said to try this particular foundation. I did have it in my collection, but I never tried it. So let's try it. Okay, so this is the Almay Make Myself Clear. It's the Maximum Strength Salicylic Acid uh, Acne Treatment. I'm in the color Mocha 9910. I didn't even know they made this foundation. I bought this foundation a very long time ago and never tried it. So let's try it now. I'm going to use it with a beauty blender. So I'm just going to put a little bit on here. Oh, it's kind of thin, you guys. It's very thin. And I'm going to mix it with um, some primer. So let's see how this looks. Mixing stuff with primer doesn't hurt the product at all. Oh, this is so thin. Oh, let's try this again. There it goes. I just had to shake it up a little bit more. Just make sure you put some um, SPF underneath this because it is salicylic acid. You're not really supposed to go out without because your skin will be more sensitive to the sun with salicylic acid. So I would suggest putting on some SPF. Oh, this is looking good. It's a good color match. And I do have acne, so but so the thing is, salicylic acid does not necessarily work well with my particular acne. Usually, benzoyl peroxide does work better because I have more hormonal acne. But hey, listen, whatever that would help my skin not break out using makeup will definitely help. So this is what we're working with. I'm going to put a little bit more. I do like the finish. It's not heavy. Which I like. And it's covering everything. So this is what we're working with right now. I this is what my face is looking like. And I really like the way this looks. It really settled down. Now it. It looks good. I wish I had put some powder underneath my nose. Because my skin gets. Um. My skin gets kind of oily, but this is what we're looking at right now. What I do like is I think you can build this up and really make it very, um, it's like buildable full coverage. Oh, you can see my thing right there. It's buildable. Like you can make it really full coverage, but I like the fact that my skin is peeking through. I like that. And I, if you use this with a brush, I think you can really make it full coverage. But I never use brushes. I like the skin-like effect of foundation. So this is looking really good. I like it. All right, Khadija. I had this in my thing, never tried it. And now I have a reason to wear it. Had it in our collection this whole time and never wore it. So let me finish my face and I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go with the finished look. Nothing too complicated, simple. I'm looking myself at my mirror right here. And what I really like about this foundation, if you have oily skin, this dries down to like a powder-like finish. It, it's really nice. And what I like is it doesn't emphasize 
um, texture. It's it it dries out really nice. If you have oily skin, this is something you should definitely definitely try. I I like the powdery finish of this. I did put powder on top of it, so I did set it, but it did dry down powdery. Um, but so you'll definitely like it. So that's my verdict on it. It's a great foundation. So thank you, Khadija.